Well, tonight, police have identified the Lyft driver who allegedly kicked a group of men out of his car onto a Delaware highway moments before one of those men was hit and killed by another car. WJZ is live with Stetson Miller following those updates all new at 6. Stetson? Hey, Denise, the man that was killed, his name was Sidney Wolf, and he really was loved by family, friends, and neighbors. He was a youth hockey coach, a beloved father, and was involved in local politics. And his loss has really just shocked his community. Police tell me that they have identified that Lyft driver, and they are cooperating, but so far, no charges have been filed. Family, friends, and neighbors are reeling after the heartbreaking loss of a beloved member of their community. We lost a really one of the good ones. Yeah, he was, he, was a, he was a great friend, a great neighbor, a great family man, great father. His name was Sidney Wolf. He was killed on Sunday after Delaware State Police say he and five friends got into a disagreement with their Lyft driver in Dewey Beach. The driver stopped on Coastal Highway and ordered them out of the vehicle. Then Wolf was struck by a passing car. Police say the Lyft driver fled while well, the driver of the car that hit him stayed on scene. We always knew him as, a, as just a wonderful, you know, passionate person. Guy Wasserd Sugg played adult hockey with Wolf for 15 years in Montgomery County where he lived, and he attended his funeral on Wednesday. There was a, a lot said about uh, what a wonderful family man and father he was and how he was, you know, an absolute um, perfect father for his two daughters and would do anything for them. He was also very involved in his community coaching youth hockey and working in politics as a campaign manager for Montgomery County Council member Sidney Katz and previously working as a senior policy advisor for New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, who tweeted that he was shocked and saddened to hear about Wolf's death and said that he was a phenomenal public servant. Lyft said it removed the driver from their platform and is assisting law enforcement. So far, no charges have been filed, but police said that the driver has been identified and is cooperating with investigators. Family members said in a statement that the level of shock and pain they are feeling cannot be measured, but they truly appreciate the outpouring of love and support for a man who had a big impact on his community but was taken from them too soon. And it's, it's really a shame to lose such a wonderful guy. And police tell me this investigation may take several months and they will determine whether or not to file charges. And a GoFundMe has also been started for Wolf's family, and so far it has raised over $62,000. I'm Stetson Miller reporting live for WJZ.